that bear represents that whatever it is, fear, doubt, laziness, alcoholism, anger, whatever it is, because we all have it, you do the same bad habit, Parker, over and over again. But your third option is to fight, is to look at the bear straight in his face and say, guess what? Not today. I'm done with this. You're not taking any more of my time because what I understand is by my fighting my bear, I visualize what my lo- my life looks like on the other side of that as I progress towards my mountaintop. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Parker with Upbeat. If you missed the last episode with Jason Jenkins, make sure you check that out. We talk about his three-step blueprint for pretty much anyone to be successful. I mean, I don't say this lightly, but in that 30 minutes, you can pretty much get all of the advice you'd ever need to make the necessary changes and become who you're designed to be. So that's saying a lot, but it's true. He really lays it out simply in three steps how we can completely change our lives. So don't let that episode escape you. Uh, make sure you listen to it if you haven't yet. And even if you have, sometimes it's go it's good to go back and re-listen and make notes. And that's actually something I'm passionate about. That's is going back and re-listening and then doing these follow-up episodes. So that's what this is. It's going to be a little bit shorter, but I just feel like with every guest, you know, we kind of the conversation goes a certain way where it's supposed to go. But then inevitably there are underrated parts of the story or underrated uh, principles and insights and things and takeaways that go kind of overlooked. And so I like to highlight those things. And with such a focus on Jason's story of overcoming the bear, right, which is in that episode, and and that'll be parts of that will be in this episode too, uh, when I roll back the clips. But um, with that story, and then focusing on the three step blueprint, there were other really important things that got kind of overlooked that I want to make sure I point out here. So, and hopefully, well, I know it's beneficial to me, but I hope it's also beneficial for you. So let's get into it. So you ready for this? My very first coaching um, was in February of 2014. So legitimately, as you and I are recording this, like a decade of me sitting in front of a bunch of advisors, I was like, yeah, let me tell you how I'm doing this. And honestly, Parker, I was like, I really like this. This is cool because because I, I realized like my impact could be better. And so now I'm the chief sales officer. So I oversee about 250 salespeople, about 10,000 advisors. And I probably have coached 10,000 professionals the last decade. Um, and wow. I did a TED talk. I've done some cool stuff. Um, but what drives me is these kind of conversations, Parker. I'm yeah. interested in... How, how does the individual move to their mountaintop? And that's what I'm excited to unpack with you today. So I feel so blessed, um, but I turned 49 and a half and I feel like I'm just getting started. It's not too late is number one. Know wherever you are on the journey, it's not too late. Okay. Uh, that is something so interesting about Jason's story is the timing of everything. Uh, he mentions that it was about 10 years ago when he got started with the coaching stuff. Uh, He mentioned it was when he was almost 40 years old, right? And then he goes on to say that it was just in 2020, which at the time of this recording is about four years ago, that he finally got brutally honest with himself and looked in the mirror and wanted to really hone in on personal development and becoming the best person he could be, becoming who he was designed to be. So you're talking 40 years old, 40, 46 years old, 50 years old. Now he's, he mentioned he's 49 and a half about to turn 50 in that episode. But uh, that's when a lot of these pivotal things are happening for Jason and he's working super hard at it and then realizing the blessings from it and now helping other people do the same things. Number two is life is a progression, right? So uh, before Jason was 40, it's, uh, it's not like he did nothing for 40 years. He was working really hard. <laughs> He put in a lot of work, a lot of reps, a lot of at-bats, right? Uh, And I like to call that laying the foundation, building the pillars. He was in that phase and still is in that phase for what he's working towards next. We're never going to be perfectly satisfied. It's not like we just get to snap our fingers and be at the finish line, right? Like we're always working towards something. So it's about embracing where you are and continuing to put in that effort and then just know that there's going to be payoffs. And you're sometimes, a lot of the time, 
not going to be able to predict it. I tell this story all the time, um, or this example all the time of, of when I went viral beatboxing with the McDonald's cup, that video completely changed my life forever. The trajectory of my life. It didn't like overnight make me a millionaire success story, but it did completely change the, the whole course of my life. And the night before that video went viral, I was miserable and wanting to give up. So it's about showing up that next day. It's about putting in the reps, you know, even when it's hard and you just never know what thing is going to be your tomorrow or right around the corner, right? There's no way anybody could have ever predicted that video was going to go viral. I would have never predicted that. That was just completely in God's hands. And all I could do was continue to keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep going. Right. And so that's what the message is here to me with life is a progression. This number two takeaway of mine here from that episode, um, it's just to embrace where you are on your journey. Keep putting in the reps, keep laying the foundation and know that you're sometimes not going to be able to predict what is next for you and what's right around the corner. It's about laying the foundation, learning about ourselves, gaining that clarity and going forward and helping others and becoming the best that we can be. My story, I really feel begins to answer your question was on August 10th of 2020. On that Monday morning, Parker, I woke up at 4.30, I got out of my bed and I walked over to the, my bathroom sink and I put both my hands down and I looked in the mirror and I asked myself just one question. And the question was this, would I follow you? And my response, it was maybe. And I remember taking a step back. I was like, hold on. What do you mean maybe? You see, I was super proud of a lot of the things that I had just mentioned, but it was for the very first time at almost age 46, Parker, that I was brutally honest with myself because the man that I was seeing in the mirror was not the man that, that I truly wanted to have reflected in my heart. I was like, there's somebody else that's there. And so I decided on that day, I was like, I'm going to go build that man because I got to be honest, like I was not taking care of myself. I was drinking too much. Um, I had, I had a wonderful marriage, but I was, I was not becoming the person that I was meant to be. And so literally on that morning, I, I just, I just stepped in and I said, I'm going to go build a man that I kind of see at the top of that mountaintop. So imagine this for a second. Imagine you're walking into this forest, right? And in the distance, you see this mountaintop and you know, like that's the mountain you're supposed to climb. And so it's cold and on the side of you, these super dark trees, right? And as you're walking and, and so on, out of nowhere, guess who shows up? I call it the bear. Can I have a picture behind me over here? Right? There he is. Right? <laughs> the bear. Bear. And this bear, he comes onto your path and he knows you. And he is there to absolutely destroy you, Parker. And you have three options when the bear shows up. The first is to run. Is to run back down the mountain. All the progress that you made is to run away from the bear and not acknowledge that it exists. Your second option is to do nothing. So as the bear approaches, he absolutely destroys you. So that bear represents that whatever it is, fear, doubt, laziness, alcoholism, anger, whatever it is, because we all have it, you do the same bad habit, Parker, over and over again. But your third option is to fight, is to look at the bear, straighten his face and say, guess what? Not today. I'm done with this. You're not taking any more of my time because what I understand is by my fighting my bear, I visualize what my, lo my life looks like on the other side of that as I progress towards my mountaintop. And so that was the choice that I made. And literally this painting behind me is I had it painted to remind me every day as I walk into my office, I have to face that bear. And mine, I don't know if this will surprise you or not, I actually had a deep sense of like fear. And um, so in my business success, what people don't talk about often is, I man, I got kicked in the teeth with my software. It got ripped off. I mean, I got screwed out of millions and millions of dollars. And I was just like, man, how am I going to take care of this? This sucks. This doesn't make any sense. So I had, I had to go face that. And as I began to face that bear, I literally began to build the person. I'm, I'm literally a different person today on so many different levels. And I think that's where my passion comes from, Parker is that I want people to face their bear and, and become the person they were designed to be. Number three, no one is immune to adversity. 
that is definitely clear in that episode with Jason. Uh, everyone has their inner bear, uh, their own challenges that they face. So it's about learning to face that bear and punch through adversity to ultimately create a better life for yourself and be able to positively impact more people in better ways, right? So those are the three takeaways that I had outside of uh, the very clear ones in that episode with Jason Jenkins. Number one, it's not too late. It's never too late to uh, take a step in the direction you want to go. Number two, life is a progression. So just embrace where you are on the journey. Understand what phase you're in and just keep putting in the reps. And number three, no one is immune to adversity. We've all got that inner bear and it's about learning to face that bear and become who you're designed to become. Uh, I hope this episode helps you. Definitely, I would highly recommend everyone check out that other full episode. It's about 30 minutes long with Jason Jenkins where he can, we talk a lot about all this stuff, but he gives a lot more clarity to it with his examples and his stories and how it's helped him in his life. Talk about the bear, his bear, how he's been able to overcome that. And of course, he lays out the three-step blueprint for success wherever you are on your journey. I know I've said that a lot in this episode, but genuinely, wherever you are on your journey, that three-step blueprint will help you. So check it out. Uh, We will see you again next week. Thanks so much for being here listening, y'all. And until next week, stay upbeat. Peace.